the brakes. The culture, the essence. <clears throat> we gotta shoot more shit to that. Why you got that cut? Yep. Oh God. I was just thinking that the other day. We should go shoot at least three or four pieces because I feel like that one gonna do its thing. Yeah. The brakes. Are you gonna try to get anybody on that motherfucker? Mm, it's it. already done. Yeah. I don't like adding features after. If yeah. they ain't there during the process, it's really like it's slow to flow. Uh, that's why you were saying about the country shit, about mm -hmm. not trying to send it out. And it's like we waiting on somebody else to do that. I don't want, like doing all that shit. I feel it. Let somebody tap in and it's like, hey, send me that. I'll do it today. I ain't waiting for that. We about to start seeding the 2021 freestyle today. Everybody. Throughout the week. It's $10,000 seed. I'm excited to see what comes from it. Have you been liking the results of what? Uh... Man, I grew. 45,000 in the last 30 days. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. And that's 15 of that came in the last five days. And that's all old content. Just re recycling it. Damn. Yeah. I feel like this will probably give it a, it'll probably double that. Just cause it's like it shows the skill. Like the first clip seeding was just like a heartwarming moment <laughs> intro, but you don't really get to fully become a fan because you don't get to see a nigga ball. You feel me? But this clip, I feel like you get to see a nigga ball. You get to see Curry play. You more inclined to come fuck with him. Mm-hmm. I can't wait till that album drop, bro. That's just gonna, I know we gotta push a whole nother album before that, but it's like, man, I really do feel like that motherfucker is gonna be damaged. Man, I hope so. What's, it, it done? What's up, dog? What's happening? <laughs> What's up, dog? Oh, shit. Yo, come on. Yo. Hold on, let me get a little something with you real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah come on. For sure. Mm -hmm. Damn. Just them What's up, brother? Yo. You heard? Oh, you ain't even hit it. Ah, I'm on it. Booming. <laughs> you heard? Yeah. Appreciate you, dog. Right, man. Appreciate you, bro. Mad <laughs> nervous, bro. Hold on. Boom. There you go. We outside. You yeah. know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really, if this album don't go, I've lost all hope. I might go into a depression. <laughs> <laughs> I spice rapping about being a poopy. Bro. <laughs> Bro, did you hear the song with Travis Scott? Hey. She's showing her thong. What? I would, I would be so, no I, I'd be way. so disappointed if these don't go. But it's also it's like you know it's the game. Keep now working. She, now she's showing her. I feel like we got something special. Even leading up, just all the shit we drop and the breaks and the mouth shit and whatever else we create. It's just too much. Like the music has been getting better. We ain't even start working this shit from Wisconsin and the pain tracks and shit. Oh so damn, I forgot you had them. It's like, bruh. <laughs> but, hey. I can't foresee it going any other way. Actually, if we keep seeding and building up to that moment, I think we'll have a good chance. I think we're gonna announce the LA residencies this week too. Today, hopefully. Wait, we're going what? To the LA residency. Mm -mm. Oh. Announcing. Oh, okay, okay. That October one sold out so fucking fast, bruh. Nigga. You know how I know they be selling fast? Because a nigga hit me. Like, you think my offer could 
bro, I don't, I have no control <laughs> over that, brother. No control. Man. A nigga hit me like, I offered a hundred dollars, I didn't get accepted. What do you want me to say, bro? Don't what do you matter. want me to say? <laughs> <laughs> nigga like, oh, my money ain't good? It's not that, clearly. <laughs> clearly. That's hilarious. There were other people who got there before you, brother. You can't be mad at me. <laughs> Entitlement. Bro, God. You don't even pick the, the, I mean, you do, but it's not all of the tickets ain't high spenders. <laughs> it don't matter how much you offer, nigga. It is at random. <laughs> I mean, unless y'all offer ridiculous and it's like, I'd be stupid to not to accept. <laughs> but even <laughs> then, if it come too late, it's just too late. Yeah. There ain't nothing I can do. So after a certain amount, does it hit a threshold and then it shuts down for people to not even be able to offer anymore? Once I close, yeah, once I close it, there ain't oh, no more okay. RV. You can only go on the wait list. But if you're on the wait list, you're probably not getting into that show. That shit full. Yeah. And this one I did a bit smaller because, like I said, it's my birthday, so I'm really not trying to, like, do hella extra. Open hella space. The birthday lands on a Sunday this year. Yep. I think we're going to do the award show the day before. I need to go holler at Empress and see what's up. Then we'll do that the day before. So we'll end up selling tickets to that, letting people come fuck around. You gonna get trophies? I think so. I'm gonna do something, either some plaques or trophies, some shit. The GCA. The GCA. The GCA. GCA. What you doing? The GCA. GCA. <laughs> First ever oh, artist God. thrown award show. Man, that's crazy. 45,000 in 30 days. All right. That's why I feel like, I just feel like the content with this album, it's like, no way you see this and you don't want to go peep. No <laughs> way. You don't want to go peep none of this. And the song was just like, and if one go, we going to see it. So there's no way a bunch of niggas see it and they like, what's this? Right. If one go, we going to see it. And we got 30 of them bitches already. We just shot 20 something other day. We got 50 clips to see. Oh, 50. I mean, nah, I mean just oh, in general God, like. Yeah. I don't even know. We got hella clips to see. Outside of that. Damn. Like just old viral moments. 2021 freestyle is from 2021, and we finna see it, and that motherfucker finna reignite, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know what's crazy? You have so many seatable moments. Just so many. Even outside of the 50 clips. The the war, I mean, not the words, but the NBA final shit. Like, that's a seatable moment. It's like, damn, this nigga, that's crazy. Is that considered a sink? Yep. Damn. Ooh, that really That's not really a seatable moment Ooh. though, because it's faceless. It's like it's not seatable until like it that'll be seatable if everybody already knew who yeah. I was. But it's really faceless, so it's not I wouldn't spend, you know, ten thousand dollars seating that. You really got to pick the moments you choose to push out wisely yeah. to yield return. What's crazy is you say that, but the labels would have seated that bitch. Cause they just, it depends on who the artist is. Would they have seated it for uh, Kendrick or Dre? Yeah, would they seat it for... Who knows? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. <laughs> But maybe, you know, I'll be seeing some shit on CD networks that's like, sometimes they just trying to raise, raise awareness. Yeah. Like, they just want you to, if you see a nigga seven times, that's what I say by our seventh seed moment. Motion. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm looking at it, it's like, it's like with this freestyle, we see it. 
I do 10K. And then after that shit move at the end of this week, announce I got bookings, features, whole versus platforms, freestyles. I'll come on your shit and rap. We'll probably get, you know, 60, 70,000. Is that a dog? That is a dog. Is it chained up? It's not. It's oh, not. It looks like it is, actually. Big bro on standby. He looks like he's ready to break loose. You know, 60, 70,000. Is he tied up? Oh, he hard. Morning, brother. Probably get like 70, 80,000 just in request. Yeah. That's exciting. That's fucked. And for the LA residencies, they gonna all be at Darren's? Or not Darren's, but uh, Baron? Darren's. Uh, I think we're gonna like section them. Like, some will be at Darren, some will be at different spots and shit. How many you gonna do? I don't know. <clears throat> but now I'm just thinking, I'm just gonna do the two August dates and then we'll see how that goes. Nice. If that goes well and sell out hella fast, might do some September joints. What we got playing today? You gonna knock some features? Yeah, I'm gonna do some features and then I gotta get my schedule back right before we go on. We've been editing hella shit. I gotta get it all locked in now. Nice. Um, if you can get me back one of your favorite clips from the Tahoe show, I can get you back the vlog. I just need one clip and I'm good. The audio fucked up. Oh, so you're not gonna use none of it? Mm -mm. Was it a whole vlog? I mean, I just docked the whole day and just put it all together. Oh, did you? Yeah. I, I didn't see that. But, Where'd you put it? No, I haven't rendered. That's what I'm saying. I need, just give me one show clip. I was going to add a show clip to just cap it off. Because I docked, like, all the coming through the mountains and shit. And get in there and then sound check and shit. Yeah, once you said the audio was fucked up, I just dropped it. Damn. I don't like sitting there going through that shit. Nigga, it was so bad. I called T Ball sitting at the exactly. desk. Exactly. And she was like, I could hear that and shit. And to put out into the world. I was like, damn. What does that mean when, it, like, what happened? What went he wrong? He had it too high on the board. Which is crazy because it was low as fuck in the room. Man. I didn't even have to uh, raise the audio at all. Like, yeah. it was already in red. I want zero dB. Yeah. <clears throat> Damn. Did it sound how it sounded for 40 for us, too? Definitely. Really? It sounded, I felt like we was, uh, maybe it's because we was lit. We didn't I, know the songs. Uh, it was hella low. Like, nigga, you know the difference. We just came on a whole run with T-Pain. But during the show, I couldn't <laughs> tell, like, that you was hella low. I could tell during E-40. During our shit, it didn't sound like that to me. Because the stage was higher than the crowd. Uh, you can't okay, tell okay. from on the stage. Okay. But that makes sense. I thought I was tripping. I'm like, nigga. I All you got to do is look in the crowd. You could tell. It's like, nigga, that shit is supposed to shake. <laughs> and rock like people can't even fully get into it when the sound ain't hitting that's why he would be saying this and putting the mic out of you and i was like there's no way they're not saying tell me when to go <laughs> there's no way they can't hear you it's crazy because it's like you know no matter how them shows go it still be hella people after that be like this was the best shit oh my god <laughs> nigga, that, the niggas walked in that, uh... That show, you know, it's like niggas been so deprived for so long. Bro walked out and said, oh, no, hell no. Mm -hmm. I know that ain't. That one nigga was like, I ain't even know, bro, till tonight. And he got a new fan. Nigga said, I love you. <laughs> 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 I 
I love you, bro. Keep doing your thing. Yeah, I Man, didn't know it was his first time because he was in the front row. Acting a donkey. You were the boy. That's crazy. You touch niggas like that. That nigga said, I love you. I've <laughs> never told a nigga I love him after the very day of me, though. What? <laughs> I love you? 50. 50. 50. Gray hairs in the, in the beard. Uh, the thing, though, is like when you go so long without <laughs> getting that any substance a hip hop show, you could imagine. <laughs> and you finally see it after 30 fucking years, 20 yeah. years of none. Nigga, it's like getting water after being in a desert. I appreciate you, brother. Come on, man. How you been? Good to see you. Come on, man. All right, dog. My mom and them don't know. My mom and them know you, but like I couldn't even go tell my mom about like the boy and them. They don't know that shit, and they don't care to. Like that's crazy. They probably only know me through you. I don't think so though. Mm, probably, it's still a lot of people who don't know me. Like you know, when they announced Summer Jam, there's a bunch of people who's like, "Who's the wrestle?" But <laughs> also too, like. Just listening wise, like, my but you gotta kind of like, yeah, you gotta kind of like, if you if you from a band, you don't know who I am. You walk around with your ears closed. No, for real. Or you listen to Sexy Red all day. <laughs> for real. You feel me? Like my mom actually listens to you. My mom won't listen to that other shit. She no blasting. She don't even slap his shit. We from <laughs> the same turf. <laughs> Every time I'll call her, like, we just met, and it's a young nigga. Boy, you know I don't know them, but that sounds good. <laughs> she crazy. Yeah. They I mean, era. Has. They're not supposed to, though. You know, like, it's only it's, a, it's only special artists get to breach the generational gap. Yeah. Like, a 40-year-old has no need to know who an 18-year-old is. <laughs> they operate in different worlds. If they good enough to bridge the gap, then you will get it. But it's like, and it's like, I'm, I'm in the middle. You feel yeah. me? It's like, I'm not a younger artist. In the scheme of like the artists that are on right now, it's like, they're 20 year olds. Yeah. I'm 30, so I'm closer to your parents than, <laughs> than the new shit. We even watched some of that footage back on mute. Nigga, that shit looked so good, but it was, you see all of that shit that we were talking about with them girls. It's hella clips in there. The Tahoe that Tahoe shit? Hella shit, where you like, nigga, if she don't back the fuck. <laughs> shit's hilarious. Ain't got no damn sense, no home training. I ain't never seen a nigga stop the show and do that. <laughs> that was some real shit. That was some real shit. I'm a grabber, it's crazy though. <laughs> I'm a grabber. No, bitch, you're a pedophile. Right. <laughs> I'm not a pedophile, I'm a grown man, but you're a little rapey. Rapey. That'd be the shit. It just made me think like. It's bitches like that out in the world. Mm -hmm. Like she left that show and went out into life, and who knows who she doing that shit to? Right. Whenever she get the chance, but that's also why artists never go in the crowd. And I try to remind myself, like, you know, I'm never gonna let that stop me from going in the crowd. But that's why they don't go in the crowd. Crazy. And you remember that clip when H.I. Rocky went in there and they was grabbing his nuts and shit? <laughs> and it was a clip his face was like, <laughs> bro, that right. should be crazy. And I the thing, the bigger it get, the crazier it get. Grabbing nuts <laughs> is insane. That's when you gotta start throwing. Hey man, that's when you throw the mic. <laughs> throw the mic hella hard. <laughs> like people just, I don't know what the fuck it be. 
I remember seeing a clip of the baby walking out of the club through a crowd and somebody socked that nigga in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck wrong with y'all niggas? <laughs> like, That's crazy. What, like, what the fuck? His bodyguard knocked her out. It was a woman, too. It was a woman, you know, as a transition as a man. Bro, hell no. <laughs> Not sock him in the but back. It's like, bro, bro, why would you think that's okay? Nigga said, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm back at a dome ski. And then tried to go on about her day. People don't know <laughs> how to act. But you would have been wrong to turn back and be like, bitch. You know, it was interesting about Bally's it's supposed to be what it is. They didn't have no security. Now they did in the crowd. Did they? It was security with us? Not with us, but in the crowd. I'm about to say, I don't remember seeing no security with us when we was going through. Nah, not with us. Dude. I don't even remember seeing security protecting the stage. They was in them yellow suit. That's how they tried Nigga, to... them wasn't security. They them was to... fucking ushers. They them the, the niggas who take best, niggas though. to their seat. They had the security vests, <laughs> The fuck? Well, they had security vests <laughs> doing usher job. <laughs> Nigga. Cause they, I remember because when bro was going off on me at the thing, he called security. He said, security, come get him. And I flashed my wrist and they let me go. Hilarious. They was stopping niggas from crossing barriers, though, because... I remember the nigga who uh, had the GC hoodie on who was trying to stop me. He was like, hey, you think they'll let me walk up there? I was like, bro, I have no, I can't control that. Next time that happened, come tell me. Right while I'm on stage, because what we're going to do is that nigga going to come up on stage and apologize, or we're going to stop the show, and we're not performing. Because that's their infrastructure, and they pay me to perform, and yeah. niggas treating our staff like that is never going to happen. Next time, come right up to me and tell me, and we're gonna stop that whole shit, and I'm gonna leave that stage if he don't come up and perform and, and apologize. Cause that's crazy as fuck. Bro, oh God. I ain't even do nothing to bro. Say but it's please. like, they get to keep doing that because niggas let them get away with it time after time, and they grow their little ego and think they hard. And it's like, we never letting that shit fly. All right. Some shit is just inexcusable. Cause it ain't, it ain't no backing behind it. Oh God. Just asking for hot water and liquor, brother. Something that y'all would have here. Cause it ain't nowhere else in the venue we could go get it at. And it be them niggas that you see outside and would never have that energy. Oh God. <laughs> You'd never say this if it was just me and you. Ever. <laughs> you said back the fuck up. I don't know who the fuck you are. Mm -mm. Bro, I, I, didn't, I didn't come here for you to know who I am. I just asked if you have hot water to women. After saying excuse me, and I'm not trying to cut the line, <laughs> I'm just letting you know, like, the artist needs this. <clears throat> I wouldn't even have mine waiting in line if he would have gave me an answer. I just wanted to know if they had it before I waited in line. And the bar usually isn't the place. <laughs> that was the only place with what's the name that's where uh what's the name actually sent me i went out and asked uh bro on the side stage and the other nigga with the walkie talkie i asked both of them first and they was like the bar should have it <laughs> never i ain't never seen a nigga order a warm drink from a bar yeah. <laughs> but it's like they still got hot water back there like What's crazy is bro said no, and I was looking at the lemons, because they use lemons for them drinks. Right. Lines. <laughs> and I'm looking at them, and I'm like, this nigga. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sound like a Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. People had that energy and then still let me go on about today. Clips, right? Yeah, I think the other just finished all four of them too. Bet. Let me get those clipped up and then, yep. Them boys ain't cooking. I'm turning up the heat.
Maybe later we could go play tennis with Grandpa. Yep. Or walk. I need some good tennis in. I just need it's just energy, bro. I don't know what it be. Every time I go around that nigga, I just be feeling recharged. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to go back into life like nigga. I dare a nigga to say I can't do it. He just got that spirit, bro. I ain't never got support the way my grandpa give it to me, ever. Hmm. Well, you. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> let me take Saying that back. This from another nigga house. Yeah. Hey, bro, my bad. My bad. I take that back. <laughs> ex, ex, family wise, give me my shoes. Let shoe me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, little bro, they're my shoes, right? Little bro, they're my. That's my hoodie. You still got my earrings too. <laughs> you need me to pay your rent this month. What's right? up, bro? Where you at? <clears throat> What's happening? <laughs> What's up, dog? How you been? Nice to meet you. I'm a little artist. My name is Ant Bands. I know I, I heard from you from my, uh, I got a girl named Thatcher. You had used her car and the, uh, huh. the black car, the Raider uh, thing on the license plate. I don't even know, nigga. We, yeah, it'd be so many. I, what was it? The Neff shoot? Yeah. The yep, 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 yep. Yep. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I got you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Of course. Three, two, taking a few. Boom, man. Appreciate you, dog. You, hey. Man. Yes, sir. Yep. All right, bro. <clears throat> you too, man. Yeah, no, family-wise. Let me clear that up. Family-wise. <laughs> Especially now. Like, in this time, you think the family... Like, when you said that shit about, um, like, the family lineage and they should see one going and be like, we finna make a pot to help this nigga and dump into helping this nigga. He's, he's a nigga that would say some shit like that or do some shit like that. The rest, they like, well, where are mine at? <laughs> right. That's usually when the, when the niggas start emptying the pot. On God. <laughs> they see it get filled up and come by. Yeah, like, let me get some. Nigga. My uncle, one of my uncles going to call me and say, I ain't talked to him in hell long. He said, hey, where you at? I said, I'm at home. He said, you, you near La Russell? I said, <laughs> not near La Russell. He said, well, just relay this message then. I was going to have you put me on speaker, but just relay this message. Nigga, y'all keep y'all foot on their necks. I said, I'm sitting <laughs> on the phone like, is, <laughs> you call me to say this? And oh, told God, me to, that's told necessary me to too. Put, his, put us on speaker though. He was like, y'all niggas better not let up. I told you what I tell you. I told you you was going to be that for the family. I told you. <laughs> bro, I'll, I'll kid you not, bro. I'm sitting there listening to this shit like, this is crazy. This is crazy. He was like, I always told you. And then followed up with, so how I could get some tickets to that next show, though? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's, me, it's just me and wifey. We just trying to get two. Hey, that's I hella do too. funny. I'm like, for sure. Bro. Nigga, you could have started with that. You could have, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you you could have started Nigga with that. Nigga, butter me up. Nigga, butter me up. <laughs> Nigga said, all right. Now, where them tickets Now go? that you remember, I told you. <laughs> you owe me a little something for that, don't you? <laughs> Nigga, I was dead. I'm on the phone trying not to laugh because I'm like, this nigga a fucking nut. But niggas, niggas always niggas. talking about I told you. Like I got here, I've told you souls and keep going. See me coming out of the mud and said, keep growing. Nigga. <laughs> <coughs> that shit was so fucking funny. That's hella funny. You bet not let it. up. You can't beat it though. You need all of it. Not for <laughs> real. You need all of it. That nigga said. He was like, I never got to see Tupac live in the flesh. I got to come see him. I got to, bro. <laughs> That's a beautiful comparison. Right. No, for real. Tupac right? A, There's Tupac a lot of niggas who never got to see Pac live. And this is the closest they going to get to something that special. He was like, I got to, nephew. It's just me, it's just me and wifey. I just need two. However you could do that. I said, <laughs> I'm, I'll look into it. Mm. That's, That's hella, hella funny. funny. 
Got say, it. Now that I got your attention. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, he even started the combo off with, I just need 15 seconds of your time, nephew. Mm. I know how you be. I know you were in motion and shit. You know, I got my own shit going on too right now. <laughs> Nigga, never forget the, yeah, you know, I'm doing some shit too. I, 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 I don't have to tell you I'm doing some shit. I'm just doing it. Just tell me what you need to tell me. That's hella funny. You can't beat it. For real. I got this person on Instagram who always messaging me talking about cousin. She all under my post like, cousin, good job. And I'm like, bro, we're not cousins. <laughs> but I'm going to let you rock. I'm going to let you at it. I'm not going to even expose you, but it's like, you being funny. <laughs> you know we not cousins. <laughs> you know. You know. I don't know you. <laughs> you could have walked past me before I blew up and not knew who I was. Who I was. And vice, <laughs> and vice versa. That shit is funny as fuck. Cousin. Nigga like that Tupac wasn't there. Cousin. Cousin. <laughs> that nigga Vince is dedicated. He comes every in. day. Bro, he be here every day. That nigga practically live here. All right. What's up, dog? What's happening? What's up? You moved in. Shipping orders. Ugh. That nigga dedicated. Ooh, look at that nigga. Y'all got one crazy shit. Right? This shit, wow. What is this? The setup for when we do like fest and shit for merch. Oh, shit. I thought I seen you, Liam. <laughs> What's up, brother? How you feeling? What's up, bro? How you doing? Good. This is crazy, though. Right? There's more boxes at my mom crib or some shit that came in. And you know what else came in? Some samples. They was in my bedroom, though, of the socks with the half cushion, I think. You know what? I figured out which ones we need is wool. Mm. So I got those getting made. What are the ones we have? Cotton? Yeah. But wool ain't gonna be hella thick though, is it? It'll be thicker. Is that, and stretch like a bit more. I gotta say, I didn't even like check it. I just seen it on my shit. Those are the ones from my mom? No. You picked it up already? Mm -mm. Oh yeah, I was about to say, two boxes at my mom crib in the garage. Mm -hmm. But that's a different. It's either cotton with like the different cushions or the wool. It could be thicker overall. This would be insane. Catalog. Instead of that cage at the uh, mm. the show, this would be for the Oh, 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 Wow. What is these? Good shit, bro. Are these packs going out? What? Liam packed these? What? You got a job, Liam? Uh-oh. I just got all the fucking pictures downloaded so I could get everything posted. Oh, yeah. Wow. So these ones we got we charge we got charged full price. These are forty five. Okay, we gotta sit down and talk again. Come up with something. She got surgery today and then she should be back in like ten minutes. You should do pictures and put them online as to. offer base and just change the minimum and just I was gonna put the minimum high though. And that way when all the offers come in, then we can pick which ones we want to do like this. No, nah, just put the minimum at like fifty. And then we can see the offers. Boy, if someone hit 50, it's gone. Yeah, that's all right. Or you could put the minimum value yeah, and we could go through offers. Because, yeah. <coughs> Why'd this one go up? That's just for regular cost. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see what it's looking like. Because this is off of like three shirts. But I think even like on a percentage based deal, it's like. 
forty five dollars for a bear is insane, you know. And mm-hmm. I want to treat it just like the merch. I like I, it's a special item, but it's like I wouldn't go in a store and pay forty five dollars for a fucking bear. That's know? what I want to say. <clears throat> it's just like unrealistic. <laughs> And maybe we just keep them super limited and just have them to give away for the most part. Collectibles. Yeah, hard, right? They can just be collectibles. The one you can let people make offers. You can put them up and let people make offers, but I don't want to tax people fucking $50, $60 for a bear. It's like, bro, be for real. <laughs>